My name is Mike. And I'm Steve. And you are watching Comics, Comics TV. TV. We are your weekly comic book uh, television show. We provide you with reviews, previews of the newest, greatest comics that are coming out and have been out. Uh, we provide you with interviews with industry professionals, writers, artists, uh, everything. We give you everything that you want to know about comics live every week on TV here as it happens here in Buffalo uh, our, our universe is spreading we have our own universe we're spreading out we have uh, we have the comics TV universe we're out uh, as soon as Adelphia uh, gets us online we've been waiting for two months we will be covering all Western all of the Western New York general area and uh, we got all our regular features this week we got a, a lot of stuff coming up in the next few weeks, as our show uh, is improving and progressing, we're uh, going to have interviews and all kinds of stuff. Well, we'll get to that in a few minutes. Yep. Um, so why don't we head over and start the show with our news, per se. Our news, per se. Two, one, go. Okay, this week we have no news, per se. Parse. Well, parsley, yes. Parsley. What we want to tell you is about a few things coming up in the near couple weeks, etc., etc. Um, Comic Fest 93 will be history by the time some of you see this, but me and Mike are going to have the fortunate of going up there and getting some great interviews and meeting some great people. So yes, uh, hope everybody can look forward to that one. We're going to be bringing back uh, as many interviews as we can, uh, as much news, gossip, feature. Uh, hopefully we're going get, to get to see some of the award ceremonies and such. Uh, comic Fest 93 is in Philadelphia. It's supposed to be the biggest show for comic books in the country. It's supposed to be bigger than San Diego, which happens every August. San Diego Comic, comic Con, Con is the biggest show in the in country. The, in the world, quote unquote. And this Comic Fest is building itself as even bigger. So we will see. It gives the East Coast something, uh, something to look at. The entire Ultraverse is going to be there. There's going to be a lot of other people like Jim Shooter, Todd McFarlane, Neil Adams. Uh, Scott McCloud, Re Wendy and Richard Peeney from the ElfQuest, uh, everybody under the sun. Yeah. The, every publisher, there's going to be tons of companies. We're going to try and get you all the news and news and previews that we can. Uh, should be, be good. Over the next few weeks, we're going to have a lot of stuff to show you. and um, Everybody should enjoy that. Uh, that's about it for, for this, this kind of stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to do you a quick rundown of, uh, of what the publishers put out as their uh, monthly monthly books there's every publisher puts out any of the big publishers put out these books like uh, image has their their inside image um, uh, Malibu has the Malibu Sun DC has their direct currents Valiant voice ultra monthly I don't have a Marvel one I couldn't find one but they uh, they all have them and what basically all they are is advertising for the company rundowns of what their new books are and what they're gonna be like they're good they get yeah it's like a, it's like a preview guide they got usually got uh, interviews in them pretty pictures a nice little uh, pretty pictures. Little poster there uh, you know, these were all free except for uh, ultraverse ultra monthly they charge you 50 cents for I don't know why. which if you read the oh, back but it sucks but uh, what it has is it has a coupon for room number zero and solution number zero, and you need this coupon if you want to get it. Uh, it's important. Yep. These are okay. I mean, they're free. Pick them up. Good take, reading. Take a look at them. They're, they're worth picking up. Not all stores have all of them, so take a look around. Uh, that's about it for the news okay. this week. We don't really have too much because uh, we're preparing for our, our big trip. Big trip. So we're um, going to go on to our reviews of famous books this week. You want me to go first? Steve will begin. I'm going first. These are the weekly reviews. Okay, the first one I'm going to is the Pearl Warrior number one yearbook. It's $3.95 from Valiant. Writer is Dave DeVeries, artist is Glenn Lumsen, and colorist is Stu Suchitz. Um, the color on this one was okay. The storyline was good, and the outlook of it it's too early to tell, really. I really like this one. Um, Bill Abrams, who's the Eternal Warrior, is... How can I put it? He's 
like one of those guys that can't die, sort of like a Freddy in that. He comes back and he's protecting. He gets attacked by an assassin in his own house, and all these weapons that he has stored up over the, the thousands of years he's been alive, this uh, assassin tries killing him. He'll pick up an axe, and all of a sudden, this assassin will flash back in time to what that weapon was used for and how it was used and how it protected the Eternal Warrior. And this assassin's looking for somebody called the Geomancer. Geomancer, I'm sorry, which turns out to be a little kid. Um, all in all, the story is really good, though. I would pick it up uh, for the price, $3.95. It's not bad. There's this little insignia. You're going to see a lot of these on T-shirts and everything coming up, buttons. The, I'd pick it up. I gave this one all in all a three. I really like the story and everything. I would definitely pick this one up. Good. Um, I don't know. Can you see our little guy here? That's, yeah. You see him? It's... Anybody that's been around since the beginning knows who this is. Yes. He was on our second show, and he's making his... Uh, Massive re comeback. His reappearance. It's Mr. Lizard. Mr. Lizard. Okay. Um, Snark. Like I said last week, and uh, for this week and next week, I've got a ton of books i got to get rid of. i got to do a lot of previews, so I'm going to do a lot of quick ones. Uh, none of them as extensive as Steve's, but I'll give you an idea, some overview of some books. Um, first one this week is... Tribe number one. This is from Image. Yeah, it's a little old. Uh, Image doesn't print it anymore. The guys do put it out themselves. Todd Johnson and Larry Stroman. They do the. Sto uh, they both do the story. Stroman does the art. It's it's two fifty. It's a little hard to follow at first, but I like that. I don't. I don't think I would follow the entire thing. But it was worth two stars. Uh, next one and the quick ones here we've got is uh, it's an adult book called Naughty Bits number one. This is from uh, who else but Fanographics. Um, it's by Roberta Gregory. It's pretty funny. It's black and white. I'm not going to open it. The art goes along with the stories. It's uh, stuff, rated. It's, it's it's adult stuff. If you're an adult, you like this kind of humor. Uh, it's 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 good stuff. It's a it's a two star. Uh -huh. Cool. Pick it up. That's it for these first two. Okay. My second one. I'm going with Predator Race War number three of four. It's two fifty from Dark Horse Comics. Um, Pamela Rambo does colors, Rick Brainerd does inks, and Launchard Pell does pencils. Launcher. The color in this one was great. Um, the artwork was good, and the storyline is mediocre to good. I've been following this one since the beginning. Um, this is three of four. I'll look on this one as the finale number four. I think they're going to start another series right off this one. I like this one a lot. I would recommend it. Um, th by the way, the first Predator novel will be written by Nathan Archer, who did some of the storyline for this, too, and will be published in the early summer of 1995. They plan on having five or six hardcover-bound Predator books, which should be very interesting. So I gave all in all this one. I also gave it a three. I really liked it a lot. Looking at 95 because uh, it's going to take that long before they finish these series up. Yeah, basically. It's going to take a while. Okay, uh, next one I've got is the ElfQuest Summer Special 93. Uh, this this one is excellent. Excellent book. If you like ElfQuest, this was worth getting. I'm sure if you like ElfQuest, you already have it. Um, it's excellent quality. It's got different stories, different ElfQuest stories by different people. It's not the normal ElfQuest people that are doing all the stars. It's $3.95. Uh, it's three-star one. Definitely worth it. Uh, next one I've got is Splatter number 7. This is from North Star. It's a great collection of short ghoulish tales of horror and such things like that. Had a nice little cover on it. Uh, it's black and white, 275, three stars for this one. This is also a collection of cool. short stories. Third one here, real quick, is Sabrina's Halloween Spooktacular number one. This has one new Sabrina story and a bunch of uh, old ones from a uh, long time ago. This is her 31st anniversary. So Sabrina's been around forever, apparently. Who is Sabrina? Uh, she is the teenage witch. Anyways, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. This is only two box, forty-eight pages. It's got a, oh, a good deal. It's got a poster insert, and in in isn't that beautiful poster wow. insert? Isn't that great? Awesome, Archie. Um, get it for the kids. Get it for yourself. Uh, cool. Three stars. Let's go three stars. Three stars for Sabrina. Okay. Wow. I don't know if I could top that one. My third one. Never. Pinhead vs. Martial Law. Law and Hell, number one of two. Steve's, 295 Steve's from... Own. Who the hell is this? Epic Comics. It's Steve's own book, Pinhead. I Pinhead. I don't do too many epics, but... Um, 
Pat Mills is the writer, Kevin O'Neill pencil and inks. Hellraiser is created by Clive Barker. Um, color was great, the art was okay, and the story was confusing as hell. Hint, hint. This one wasn't that bad. There's a couple main characters, Supernova and Serap. This one deals with martial law comes to this little city, and the Serap tricks martial law into playing with the box. If anybody watches the Hellraiser stories, they'll know what I'm talking about. And it releases all of hell, including uh, Pinhead. Um, martial law is taken into hell, and this one, it could be very interesting. I really liked it. This one, like I said, was $2.95 from Epic. It's one of two. I think this story is going to spin off into a uh, Pinhead's going to spin off into his own series and have it around for a while because basically this is Martial Law and Pinhead. It's not going to be a sole story. So it says on the back, I prayed my enemies would go to hell. Now my prayers have been answered. So this could be very, very good. That's a touching, touching statement. Very touching. It almost brings tears. Very good, though. <laughs> I'll be okay. Okay. I've only got uh, four books left. Yeah. Yep, this one's an excellent book. This is Mirage Publishing and Next Comics, Xenotech number one. Comes with two trading cards bound Ooh, into the middle here, which, wow. I, ha which I haven't removed. Uh, but the story is excellent. Uh, Michael Dooney created, wrote, and penciled this. Robert Jones does the inks. It's a, it's a decent mutant story. It's, you know, everybody's a mutant in this, in this day and age, I guess. A lot of mutants um, out there. It's full color. It's two stars for this one. Nice book. It's 275. Next one we have is an adult book. This is uh, Gay Comics number 19. This whole issue is by Allison uh, Bechdel. There's no porno, uh, but there's a coming out story. Actually, uh, we could probably see the inside. It's not that bad. Um, it's got some good art, and it's <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's for adults, but it's got it's two, 295, 40 pages of stuff, and um, and it's two stars. Next two we have are uh, Adventures of A-Girl. A-Girl stands for Asexual Girl. Uh, if you don't know what that means, then don't buy the book. Um, it's kind of neat. It's a small press book. Um, let's see. Elizabeth Watteson does it. She's out of California. Uh, I liked it. I sent away from it from Comic Buyer's Guy. It's, got, it's a bunch of little one-pagers. Uh, two stars. If if you want it, write us. We'll uh, we'll get you in touch with her. They're only a buck a piece. She's got sketchy uh, sketchy art, but it, I guess it's more you're going looking at the the stories more so than than the art. Even though the art the art is pretty neat. I mean, I, I that's like Madonna. It. <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Steve Steve knew right away. Uh, that's Madonna. It's neat. They're neat little things. They're only a adult buck a situation. No, no, not at all. Oh, it's, okay. it's pretty good. Kids, write us. Okay. Kids, don't write us for that. Kid. For my fourth and final, da da da, Aliens Labyrinth, number one of four, two fifty from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, script was by Jim Woodring. And original alien design by H. R. Geiger. The color in this one, well, I'm gonna be honest, it was fair to okay. The uh, art was okay. The story was very good. <laughs> The artwork, well, I'm putting a question mark on this one. It really, the artwork on this one, or the uh, outlook on this one is, it's really too early to tell. Uh, with something that I'm going to bring up right now about the Alien series here, how many Dark Horse, or how many Dark Horse has out on the Aliens, the Aliens title itself. In the Alien series, it says, what Alien Colonial Marines, Number two, Aliens vs. Predator, Deadliest of the Species. Number three, Aliens Labyrinth. Number four, Aliens Sacrifice. Number five, Aliens Rogue. Number six, Aliens Salvation. Now, what the hell are they doing? This one, being an average buyer that I am every week, I can't afford to spend $35 a month on an Alien series itself. They said they got three more series being released by the end of the year. That'll be nine total series on the Aliens. Um, four of them, which are 12 parters released once a month. That's four year, or four total years if you want to go. One full year of four series. So I just don't understand why they're doing this, why they're releasing them all at once. But 
apparently it's a hot seller. I just hope they don't burn it out sooner or later with all the titles being sold. Um, like I said, you should just stick with one title. If you like it, stick with it. Oh, phone call. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. What was it? Dark Horse. They said they were coming after you. Oh, Dark Horse is coming after me for bad lipping. It was a butt. personal commentary by Steve. That was a pers that That's my own feelings. It um, has nothing to do with uh, Comics TV or its publishers. or. Uh, actually, he twisted anything. my arm and told me I had to say it. But that's just the way I feel about it. It's true. Nine titles is too many for the same series. In one that's year. a lot. They got uh, it's it's hot. That's why they're doing so yeah. many. I mean, it might burn itself out, but a lot of a lot of people like that stuff. Yeah, a lot of people are reading it. Okay, Steve's got some uh, a card set. He wants to give you a. Uh, this is another thing we do when we have him. Uh, this is mm, a special special set special. today. This one, this this binder was made by me. By the way, I'd like people to know I have that on the front and high quality. that on the back. High, high quality. quality. This is the death of. Superman, Superman series. The best death of Pooperman. This is a series of cards that came out for one month in Buffalo, and that is it. You cannot find them around. They will not order them for you. The cards themselves are very, very well printed. This depicts the whole, the whole series. Right from beginning to end, every single page has pictures from each of the books. As you can see, very, very well. And at the end of this, they have Ooh. the funeral of Superman. Funeral for a Goodbye. This series right here, I've seen going for $95 to $110 in different states. If you can pick one of these sets up, I recommend you pick it up in a heartbeat. Pick it up. Because these are definitely worth it. I'm giving these probably the top rating of cards I've ever checked out, ever. Not because they're worth so much, but because of the quality. It gives you a whole story of the whole outline on the back of the card. And I would definitely recommend these. So if you can get the fortune of picking them up, pick them up. They're definitely worth it. And kids, Mom, can I borrow $110 to buy a set of cards? Sure. Try that. Go ahead. Might work. One thing uh, I've got to say before we do our, <coughs> our reviews, or our previews, I mean, is that uh, today I was in one of the stores. It's a, a relatively new store in West Seneca. Uh, pretty nice. They're nice in there. They're knowledgeable. Uh, there was a guy in there. I don't know. I'm not too sure who he is or what he does. But he's got a copy of Prime Number Two that he's never read. He's never taken it out of the bag. He's Stupid. Ne he's never even read it. He doesn't even know what that part of the story is about. Dumb. <laughs> Why buy a book if you're not going to read it? It's a waste of money. Yeah. If you want to do that, just mail us the dollar seventy-five. I'll mail you an empty bag. <laughs> Sound good? Ooh, I like that. Do you like that? Okay. <laughs> Previews this week. Okay. Our, uh, our previews. Each week we pick a two a piece of what we think in the next month or two is going to be a decent book to buy. Maybe not a bestseller, but something that looks like a good read. Yeah. Go first, Steve. I get to go first today. Okay, for my first one, I'm going Batman Judge Dread Vendetta nah, 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 in nah, nah, Gotham. Nah, 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 this one sells for $4.95. Nah, 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 nah. Oh. Judgment of Gotham, writers Alan Grant and John Wagner return to chronicle the second meeting of Gotham City's Dark Knight and Judge of Mega City One. This time Judge Dredd comes to Gotham City, determined to settle his vendetta with Batman as the ventriloquist begins series of mass murders. Killing the artist of Lobo and the American Gladiators. I don't think that's on channel 29. <laughs> Illustrates this intercompany crossover. 48 pages, prestige format, highly recommended. Shipping date on this one is November 18th from Reynolds. This one sounds very good. 495. 495. I'll pick it up. Can't show the artwork. There's really none in here, so oh well. And but if I, there was, we wouldn't show it to you. Yeah, because that's leave my guard going alone. Uh, I've got um, give me that back now. I've got uh, one preview this week. It's a big one. It's from Continuity Comics. Comics. It is uh, a whole, uh, what the heck you call that? Crossover that they're doing. Oh, so uh, this is This is the rise of magic. I know, there's a lot of crossovers. There's so many crossovers out there, it's getting ridiculous. Uh, this looks pretty neat. I know there's, th I don't like the crossovers that much myself. Um, here's one of the one of the pages of it. Uh, what this is, is it's, um, in a blind, narrow passageway of time, the eyes of four corners shall escape the descending high of shaman's blow, failing, and in the chaos of passions and evil sparks, 
all eyes show with the sundering rise of magic. This crossover will span seven different books, armor, crazy man hybrids, megalith, Ms. Mystic, Time Master, and Samari. Sort of looks like you. Yes, it does. Uh, this looks like an excellent series. There's a total of 30 books comprising the whole thing. Uh, included will be a hologram within a hologram, a new 3D approach, or a new 3D pr approaches, embossed stone texture that grow issue after issue. It must be some kind of layered stuff. I want to throw in a comment. And a, a set of trading cards that interlock. And such. Of course, all this stuff is added on to give you that uh, incentive to buy all that. I want to add something on, though. A lot of this stuff you're going to find out you'll have to purchase from the dealers. They will take that off the book. And if it comes in a bag, take it off the book, and then you'll have to purchase it. So I'd question it. Ask yeah, we know, don't, did we that don't, come with the book? Or? Yeah, we don't know if any of this stuff comes with, yeah. with uh, is it going to be poly bagged or if it's going to be uh, uh, like right on the book or anything. So, some of the things coming out now, they have video cassettes small or small audio cassettes and f cards, pictures, all different things. So we're not sure, but we'll try and find out and let you know. The, uh, the one thing this other store has in West Seneca is dealers get all kinds of free things when they order like 10 copies they get a gold copy or a silver copy or copy and things like that well this dealer everything he gets like that going right back to the public which i think is great he's going to raffle everything off he gets hologram covered books that aren't available to the normal public generally uh, he's got gold covered books all all raffled off back to the public it's all yeah. ultraverse month 10 percent off any ultraverse title as as for like the um gold cover books and you get the specialty books when you order like 10 of one you'll get a gold cover one a lot of these stores you'll see them selling that for 30 bucks and 35 dollars just to make money now they got that for nothing so go to this store well try and bomb hint you where it is and uh on union road union road and try yeah. and uh near the garden village plaza yeah and go on down there and try it out try to raffle and well, steve go. has his last preview for this week yes Thank you, Michael. Okay. We're going with Nova Gold Cover Version 1. This one is a gold cover. Nova's ongoing series premieres with a 48-page issue sporting a gold foil cover. Nova is all dressed up in a revised costume. He's changed his costume. Oh, okay. With no place to go. He's got new powers, but no idea how to control them. But he faces the all out powerful Shah Ah Gladiator. Can he pull his act together in time? This one sounds pretty good. It sounds like to keep going. Seems every time I see Nova, though, he's changing his costume. But hey, at least he washes it and changes it. It's not like some of these superheroes that never change. You put that on my hat, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> nice guy, huh? Yeah, we'll just hang like that then. All right. So that's my last one. Those are our previews. Uh, we're, we're being a little goofy this week, but um, this week. But we we try to give you uh, serious information and reviews and previews, even yeah. if we're goofing around like that. Uh, now we're going to give you some quick convention mm. mentions. Give you? Give you some convention mentions of shows that will be coming into this area that you might want to check out. Now the one thing I want to tell you is, this is not meant. That was not meant as a, a racial slur to any nationality. Yeah. But um, just stupid. Most of these shows are card and comic shows. Yes, uh, not, not only comics. Not too many that are just comics, and it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt. You go in and you'll find uh, three comic dealers and 25 card dealers. Yeah. It's a trance you got to take. Yeah. Okay. There's a show on October 17th in the Fredonia, in Fredonia, not in the Fredonia, in Fredonia at the Masonic Lodge, 321 East Main Street. Also October 17th at the American Legion Post on Buffalo Avenue in Niagara Falls from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is only two bucks to that one. Two so bucks. That's a good deal. Not um, 325 and not have nothing. Yep. Um, but that was just a car, uh, comic show, which yeah. that sort of made up for, even yeah. though it was expensive. Uh, on Wednesday, October 20th, there's a show at the Tonawanda Amvets Post, 600 Ward Road. It's from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. And it is free. Cool. Obviously, it's a card and comic show. There'll probably be four, four co comic dealers, but it's free. Hey, check it out. There Lastly, is. there's a show at the Polish Falcons on Thursday, October 28th. 50 cents to get in, so I would definitely deal with that. All right. If you have information on a show that's coming to your area, to this area, that we don't know about, 
Write us here at Comics TV, P.O. Box 2727, Buffalo, New York, 14240-2727. We film this show weekly, and we will get it on the air. There's no charge. And send it in. Do you realize it took him 13 weeks to memorize our P.O. Box? I've known it since day one. He's lying. Okay. Um, but remember that. Remember write us. Let yeah, us know. Write us. If you have any information, if you want to be on our show, if you have something that you think the public would be interested in, write if, us, let us know. We'll if you want to change on. something, if you think we should change something on our show, more reviews, less reviews, uh, uh, we're trying to get as many interviews and such as we can. We're working on that part. We have one coming up I'd like everybody to know from Bill Jankowski and Mark Gowan from Danger Comics. Uh, we're going to be doing an interview and a show right there in their studio. They invited us down. Uh, we're really looking forward to meeting them. They're going to key us in on some of their new stuff, so it should be a good time. Yep, that should be probably two weeks or so down the road. Yeah. Should be a real but good time. that's it for this show. Yep. And as always, we're glad you watched, and mm -hmm. we hope that you're tuning in next week again. And when you go to your local comic shop, which is not always the best place to buy comics, but it's a good place to buy comics, when you go there, tell them you saw this or you saw it, or whatever you're picking up. On Comics TV. Yep. I'm, I'm Steve, and this is Mike. <laughs> He's lying. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Beavis. -bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>